Well, we're going to learn how to set up an employee. This is one of the first tasks you should do once you hire an employee. So to do this, you go to the left-hand menu and choose employees. Now, if you already have an employee that's very similar to the employee you're creating in terms of permissions, you can always click the dot, dot, dot and hit clone. This will actually copy everything that's not unique to the employee, such as permissions and stuff, stuff like that. But in this tutorial, we're going to actually make a new employee. So the first step would be to click new employee at the top right. From here, you'd fill out the information. So I'm going to do Sam Smith. An email is required because this will be where you would do a password reset. So I'm going to do Sam at Smith.com. All the other fields are optional. It's really up to you if, for your business needs. Um, you could actually set up a commission default um, percentage rate on the higher date, the birthday, and employee number will give them an employee number so you can easily log in using that. Um, a username is required, so I'm going to do S Smith. Password has to be at least eight characters, so you just have to type that in, repeat it. Um, the important part is the permissions. Now here there's an exhaustive list of permissions, so you can give them the ability to go into customers or items, but maybe you don't want them to be in the item kits or price rules, but you want them in suppliers. You can block them completely out from reports um, if you don't want them to look at your financial reports. Um, you can allow them to do receivings, and there's actually sub-permissions for each of these, so if you don't want them to delete, you'd uncheck that. For sales, you can give them the ability to do whatever they need to, but maybe not delete or edit. Um, and then deliveries, you can give them access to that. So there's an exhaustive list of permissions per employee. Uh, you're going to want to go through that carefully. So once you've created the employee, um, it shows up on your employee list and you can now log in with that employee and uh, whatever you need to do. So I'll just show you how to log in. So you'd log out, S Smith, and then you just put the password in. And now when you log in, you'll see they only have the permissions that we gave them. That's pretty much it with employees. Uh, pretty straightforward. Thank you.